Hello everyone, thanks for traveling with Trey. I am standing in the Iris Garden, one of a number of gardens at the Ledoux Topiary Gardens in Harford County, Maryland. This is a 200 acre property that was established by Harvey Ledoux. He was a, an aristocrat and a socialite from New York City who was attracted to Maryland because of its uh, renowned location for fox hunting. And so he came to Harford County and he established these gardens after spending a number of years in England during the winter fox hunting and seeing gardens over there. And this became of interest to him and he wanted to establish something just like it. Um, it's considered one of the top five topiary gardens in the United States. So we're gonna explore that today. Come along with me. So one of the nice things about the garden experience in general is that it's so broken up. There's all these little gardens that you can visit along the way. So you don't feel overwhelmed um, as you're moving through. You have to stop and look at everything. There's so much to see. And because it's broken up like that, it makes for a nice little stroll during the day, especially when the weather is nice like this.
I had one general criticism about the experience, it would be that it's a little noisy. We are right next to a main road here, and um, so when you're trying to take nice video, just be prepared that you may have to fight for sound quality against the traffic. But otherwise, it's not too bad. I'm here on a weekday, and as you can see behind me, there's not too many people. It's fairly quiet, and I'm sure on the weekends, it's not like that at all. But still nice. Right now, I'm kind of trekking uphill here. Let's check out what's up ahead. It looks like this one bush is taking the smaller bush for a walk. See? I'm not kidding. It's actually a dog. Use your imagination. This was the tea house that's placed in the garden. This would have been a popular feature in England because a lot of influence from Asia, the Far East, had come in and tea rooms were a popular feature, especially in Japan and in China. And so having a comfortable place where you can have some English tea time in the afternoon while you overlook your own scenic gardens and this is far removed from the house but that had to be pretty cool so behind this large mirror there's actually a hidden bar with vintage pink elephant glasses so uh, Harvey Ledoux wasn't just about drinking tea and it says here that given the size of the room and the furnishings, the comforts of a fireplace and air conditioning, they believe that Mr. Ledoux used the space year-round because of that for contemplation and inspiration as well as entertainment. Hey, I would too. So here we have the fox with the dogs in chase, along with men on horses. And this was one of Harvey Ledoux's favorite pastimes, and it's commemorated here magnificently on the property. Hey guys, that's it for me. I hope you had as much fun watching the video as I did making it and exploring the grounds. Thanks for traveling with Trey. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. See you next time.